Alright, so today I'm going to show you guys how to back up your SHSH blobs, which it basically lets you upgrade and downgrade to any firmware at any time. So even if the new firmware is out and Apple stops signing or letting you upgrade to that firmware, you can still get it, which is basically for jailbreaking. And so you can save your SHSH blobs on with this for anything 3 point, uh, 3 point whatever the first one 3.0 up to 5.0.1 you're gonna need iFaith to do this and I also wanted to say make sure even if you're on 4 point something right now if there's ever even a slight chance that you might want 5.0.1 5.1 is on its way it's gonna be out before you know it back up your SHSH blobs on your 4 point whatever device and the process is the same I'm gonna show you how to do it on 5.0.1 but it's exactly the same for 4 point whatever save those back up your iPod with iTunes and upgrade to 5.0.1 save your SHSH blobs downgrade back if you want or stay on 5.0.1 and watch my jailbreak video on how to jailbreak that untethered which is basically just using red snow but this process is the same for any any device except for the Apple TV I think and I don't know how that works but I'm gonna use an iPod touch 4G 5.0.1 so the first there you have four options in iFaith which is what I'm using link in description link will be in the description and you have the options to build signed IPSW dump SHSH blobs Show available SHSH catches on server and use DFU Poner. I really don't even know what those are for. This, I think, is for the Apple TV or something. And this is, you can put stuff on servers or something, but I usually just save it to my computer. But you, the main two things you're going to want are these two. And so you're going to want to click Dump SHSH Blobs and it shows you what it works for and all that but just click proceed and then let's go are you dumping an Apple TV 2 in my case no so no so you're gonna to want to turn your device off turn your device off and the DFU instructions are going to pop up as soon as you click start, but I'll just explain it real quick. So the, just so you guys know, the power button is the top button on top of your device. The home button is the one on the front where you click to go home all the time when you're on the screen. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to hold the power button in for three. Make sure your device is off. Your device has to be off. So make sure your device is off like it says before you start. You're going to hold the power button for three seconds continue holding the power button after three seconds and hit click the home button and hold the home button and the power button for ten seconds and after ten seconds let go of the power button and hold the home button until your thing starts to change you'll your computer will make a sound or something and if it's not on sound it'll like show load iFaith it'll change from DFU instruction to load iFaith or your thing will it'll just the whole process thing will go away but uh, so you're gonna plug in your device and now you're gonna power button for three seconds home and power button for ten release the power button just hold the home button and I don't even think you'll have to I think you do have to click start. Mine's in DFU, so let's go. And that's what'll pop up as soon as it's in DFU. And if you really were using the math, I did not hold it for that whole time, the 10 seconds or whatever it was. But that's because the time's not exact. Like, that's just to make sure it happens. You can do it other ways too. But that's just the common, easiest way to make sure you get it every time. And I'm going to pause the video while it's going through this. It has to go through all these steps, and I'll come back as soon as it's done and show you the options you get. Alright, so you're going to get this. 
the uh, this thing's gonna come up where it says save choose a save location and you're gonna want to pick where you want to save it which I created a sh sh blobs in my documents folder and that's where I save them I'm not gonna save it because I already have another one saved because I've already done this but then you just click save I'm just gonna click cancel and they'll save it and then I guess it saves it to the server and then this says oh, oh there it goes even email them to yourself good ideas because if you email them to yourself and just leave them on your email they'll be on the web so that'll be nice if your computer would crash you're just gonna click OK and that part of it's done now I'm gonna show you how to make a SH uh, signed IPSW so this means when 5.1 comes out if you have the 5.0.1 uh, SHSH blobs it's all you need you can click on this build sign browse for SHSH blobs where you save them which like I said good idea to just create a folder like I did and I'm just gonna open my SHSH blob click on my SH SH blob open and it's gonna browse for the SH and you're also gonna need the firmware my fault I said you didn't need anything else which technically you don't because you can download it yourself download it for me which I'm not gonna do that first off because it take forever and second off I already have it but you'll need that what you can get from like Felix Bruns if you just google that you can get it from there or you can just download it for me if that'd be easier for you I don't know which one's faster I just know Felix Bruns works I don't know if that actually will do it or not I can't see why it wouldn't but I'm just gonna click mine open and then it'll do its thing I'll verify it and just so you guys know when you're doing the backing up your SHSH blobs it's going the, your screen's gonna say a bunch of white letters and have a black screen and a bunch of white letters gonna come across just that's supposed to happen don't worry about that and then but once you're back to this once you click on once you get that done build IPSW which takes quite a while I think so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when this is done alright so once it's done building the IPSW this is what you're gonna get which you can use this to upgrade or downgrade your device so no matter what firmware you're on if you're on the new 5.1 and you had your 5.0.1 SHSH blobs backed up and you just use those to create this then you can do that if you're on 4.0 point something and you're upgrading to 5.0.1 and 5.1 is out you can do that too no matter what this will work if you're upgrading or downgrading, I mean, if you you can even try it on your same firmware, which would be stupid and pointless, but just the point is you can do it for anything. So I'm um, you can just click proceed, and you can put it in DFU mode poner, which I think is just gonna make you turn your device off and put it in the exact same thing we did earlier. And I don't want to do that right now, but you have to have it in that to restore. So you have to restore your device. You can't like actually upgrade in iTunes. I'll show you what I mean. So there's my. This is what it creates it right on your desktop. So there's the IPSW it created. But you're gonna put it in that Pwn DFU. If you remember how to do that, you don't even have to use the iFaith thing. Just put it in that way and make your device will just be a black screen. And it shouldn't do anything just a black screen in my iTunes for some reason doesn't want to open up if I can get it to open up I'll show you alright I have no idea why my iTunes won't open but when you go into iTunes you'll just click on your device or iTunes might even automatically pop up for you and they'll say like your device, iTunes has detected a device in restore mode or something like that. And you just shift restore on Windows or control, I think it's control, 
on Mac. I'm not really sure. You can look it up. Just how to select your own IPSW for iTunes on Mac. Which I don't even know if iFaith is compatible with Mac. I think they're going to come out with one eventually, but I don't know if it's out right now. But, yeah, that's how to back up your SHSH blobs and upgrade and downgrade using them. Thanks for watching. Like, comment on the video. And I just want to say one more thing. If you guys have any video requests, I can do those if you just leave a comment on the video or send me a message or send me an email. I can I'll probably end up doing a video on that if I think it's a good thing to have on here. I mean, if it's pointless, I won't do it, so don't do something stupid. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you later.